All right, so let's begin with our third lesson, which is UV mapping. So what is UV mapping? UV mapping is the process of unwrapping your objects onto a 2D surface for texturing. So to better understand it, imagine a cardboard box cut out on the edges and then it's laying flat on the ground. So in order to control how the UV map is laid out, you have to add seams. So what are seams? Seam is the red line that separates two faces, like here for the example. Remember that seams between two faces mean that they will be separated. But faces without seam, they need to stay connected on the map. So let's try this in practice. Here I have a cylinder shape and if I go back to edit mode, you can see that I've added few loop cuts in the center. So let's go to the UV tab, UV editing. Now let's try and press A to see everything. And right now you'll see that Blender has done something automatically. So there are a few options here in Blender. If I click on UV and I can try to smart UV and wrap it, which will give me a result like this. I can try to do a Q projection. I can try to do a cylinder projection, which looks something like this, which is very distorted. And you can try to do any of these other projection options. So you can try them out. So let's try and UV unwrap it ourselves. So I'll come close to this edge right here, press 2 on the keyboard and select it. And now hold Alt to make a bridge selection on this face right here. Now if I go right click and select Mark Seam and select All again by pressing A and pressing UV unwrap, you'll see that it looks something like this. So currently this face is separated from the whole mesh because of the seam and everything else right here in the center is currently distorted. So let's try to add seams on the other side. So again, press one, select one of those edges, hold Alt and click on it so you can make a bridge selection. Then right click, go to Mark Seam and now let's unwrap everything again. And you'll notice that I have the same result but that distortion stayed. That's because currently we have a cylinder object and in order for Blender to understand that this needs to be a flat shape, we need to add another seam which goes around this edge right here. So let me click on that edge and let's hold control to make a line and now let's mark a seam. And now if I unwrap it, you'll see that we get the perfect result. So now that we have a basic understanding of how a UV might function, let's try to use it in our project. 